Good evening. The Ford government is standing firm and not giving in to growing calls for smaller class sizes in elementary grades. The Premier maintains he has the best plan in the country to keep students safe. My number one concern is to protect the children and make sure the parents feel comfortable. And we do have the best plan. We have the best plan bar none across the country. Can we improve? We can always improve. The Ford government is promising to be flexible if necessary, but says it is not necessary right now to change its back to school plan. In it, high school students will be in cohorts of 15. But it's the elementary grades that are causing concern. 90% of classes from grades one to three are capped at 20. But there are no caps in grades four to eight, so classes can be higher or lower than the board averages of 24.5. Based on the emerging evidence we've seen or we, hear, we understand uh, as this evidence emerges that the risk is a bit higher amongst older students than in younger students. But the elementary teachers union put out a letter stating the government has quote ignored medical advice on the need for smaller classes. And Toronto Public Health released this letter which says it's supportive of the Ford government's plan but still recommends small class sizes to ensure physical distance of two meters as much as possible. A report by the Hospital for Sick Children also recommends smaller class sizes. But the Premier says boards have been given the money to do just that. We're giving uh, the boards $30 million to hire new staff. More staff equals smaller classrooms. That $30 million is for the entire province, though. The TDSB confirmed the average salary for its elementary teachers is $94,000 a year without benefits. So the $30 million could hire 319 teachers. There are about 4,000 elementary schools in Ontario. The education minister repeatedly mentioned today that smaller class sizes are only one line of defense against COVID. It also includes mandatory masking for grades 4 to 12, more public health nurses in schools, cleaning and hand hygiene. When you look at it as a, to as a collective, that plan and that protocol will keep kids safe. Mayor John Tory said he thinks the government's plan is a solid start and hopes all parties will work together to improve it if possible. Kids need to be in school. They need the structure, they need the learning, they need the socializing. And so I think they came up with a plan that tried to balance, uh, you know, or, or, or address both the public health concerns and the educational concerns, and they worked together on that. Is there fine tuning to be done to improve it? Just like everything else we've been through in this pandemic, the answer is yes. Would you like to see smaller class sizes? In now we see the school boards and the uh, Ontario government and Toronto Public Health all working together to try and fashion an even better solution if there is one. If it's possible, I'm sure they'll do it. Now late today, the Toronto District School Board put out a statement saying it's working with the ministry to explore options to lower elementary classes, but warns it may have to consider strategies like shortening the school day, reassigning teachers from non-classroom roles, and lowering class sizes only in schools deemed to be in higher risk communities. This Monday, the TDSB is hoping to send a survey asking parents if they're planning on sending their children to school. It will give them a better sense of numbers.